In the next few checkpoints, we look at production in the short run, long run, costs in the short run and long run, and then we'll look at how that translates into revenue and eventually profits. Now, one of the most important laws, before you learn all those, one of the most important laws you'll learn in economics is that of diminishing returns. Let's say that you are the boss of Foxconn again. Your fixed factor will be your factory space, your equipment, and the variable factor of your labor. Now, since land is in fixed supply, output can only be increased in the short run by adding in more labor, varying the amount of uh, workers you have or the number of hours you work and you overwork them and get into human rights issues. So let's imagine what happens when you add more workers in the factory. At first, you have an empty factory. So when you add in more workers, the total product increases by a lot. Why? Because when you only have one worker who does his own stuff, when you have two workers who might be able to produce more than what two times they do individually. They help each other, they can actually specialize and they do things that it's impossible for one of them to do alone. For example, to operate certain kinds of machinery. That's good, right? So you continue adding workers. But eventually you realize that when you add more and more workers, there's less of the specialization effect. There's only so many, so many jobs that they can do. And when you add your, I mean, when you add your first specialized worker in, he might be able to impart his skills to other non-specialized workers, you know, and other people might be able to specialize in certain departments. When you add more specialized workers, it may not have the same extent or effect. As you keep adding more and more people, the workers actually start getting in the way of each other. Now, efficiency slows down. If beyond this point, you keep adding more workers, you produce a negative effect. Your factory is way too crowded and no one can do anything. So this is the law of diminishing returns. When one factor or more is held constant, in this case, the size of a factory, there comes a point beyond which the extra output from additional units of labor or the variable factor will diminish. So when you add workers at first, a lot of products increase. And when um, you add more and more and more, they slow down eventually, it becomes negative, they slow each other down. And you might produce a negative effect. So this is the law of diminishing returns.